Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to get Spider Oak working for Linux. So please check the article in the description as it goes over how to install it on other operating systems like uh, Red Hat, Fedora, Arch Linux, SUSE, and all of that. In this video here we're going to be covering the Debian slash Ubuntu installation. It's exactly the same on Ubuntu and Debian and Mint and Elementary and all that. And it starts off by going to spideroak.com slash one slash download. You need to click on either the 32-bit or 64-bit version of the package and uh, you can start the download. Um, there are different ways to install this in the terminal and with the package manager. I'm going to use the terminal because it's just what I prefer, but you can do it other ways too. So uh, once Spider Oak finishes installing, we will see it in our LS, and then we can use the package manager to install it. And it should not take too much time to finish downloading. Okay, so here we go. So to install it on Ubuntu or Debian or whatever, you would do sudo dpkg-i and then spider oak, enter your password, and it will install. Now, if you run this and you see errors, the best way to fix that, like I cover in the article, is just to do sudo apt install-f. That will fix any dependency issues you've got. Once you do that, though, and you get it installed, you can just open up spider oak1 by searching for it in your command. Now I'm already signed in but uh, so I'm not gonna have to sign in or, or show you guys how to do that but basically when you turn this on you'll need to create a account. So my account actually says that I have 250 gigabytes of space and that is because I'm using the 21 day free trial right now. Uh, it's uploading stuff and my spider oak uh, stuff is actually there's a folder here called spider oak hive and it works a little bit like Dropbox so if I create a folder here and I call it test and then I create actually then I oh, probably be a good idea and I copy my absentee ballot information and I put it in my hive I think I can do that should let me Yeah, I put I paste some files in the hive. It's gonna go through and it's gonna I click run now. It's gonna go through and it's gonna scan my stuff and it'll start uploading and I can see where all the files are inside my hive. We see that my test folder with nothing in it and my absentee ballot PDF are both in my hive and it's uploaded to my account. And uh, if I sign in another computer, which I don't have access to to create right now because I'm using it for recording. If I had this computer set up with uh, Spider Oak Hive or if I had a server running it, perhaps I could access it here and they could sync together and we could sync different stuff here. Like if there was folders in the Hive that I wanted to sync to my other account, I could sync to it. And uh, it also lets you, do, lets you do backup. So yes, you can back stuff up in the Hive, but you can also back up other stuff on the computer. So say I want to back up some random folder in at or file in Etsy, like my uh, let's see. Hmm, I wonder. Let's say FS tab if I can find it. Okay, so if I want to back this up, I can just click that button here, click Run Now, and that's going to upload it. And it should allow me to back it up and it's going to save it correctly and as you can see it's under Etsy slash FS tab and then if I want to restore this at any time it will just restore automatically whenever I tell it to. There's also a share button if I want to share stuff with people but uh, that's a little bit more than what we need to worry about right now just some basic you know, how to use spider oak type stuff going on in here for basic usage. Anyways, guys, uh, please check the article in the description. As always, this is just a quick overview on how to get the spider oak sync software working under Linux. Please check the article and I will see you in the next video.